Hi there, this is Hannah working for Real Estate SINY, and I'm here with Sarah Signorelli, the acting director at the Alice Austin House. Now, for some of the viewers who aren't familiar, well, why don't you start out by telling everyone about this extraordinary woman, Alice Austin, who lived in this house? Well, Alice Austin was born 1866, right after the Civil War. She was one of America's earliest and most prolific female photographers. She produced 8,000 images in her lifetime, documenting the streets of Manhattan, immigrants coming in. Uh, she traveled abroad. She is a woman who continues to fascinate us all through both her work and her fine art photography and also her life story. Um, she was not born in this house. We call this house Clear Comfort. Uh, she was born nearby, but her father abandoned her and the mother brought her here to live with the grandparents, aunts and uncles. And she was spoiled and grew up to be a very unique woman for her time. She, um, of course, not only being a photographer and was introduced to the camera at the age of 10, she was the first woman on Staten Island to own a car. She was the founder and first president of the Staten Island Garden Club. So she was very accomplished and a real trailblazer. And she was a bit of a rebel. Exactly. Uh, we try to really instill that on uh, visitors and the school children who come and, and uh, learn mm -hmm. about her. That, um, you know, she really didn't follow the course of most Victorian ladies, although she would always uh, call herself a Victorian lady. She didn't really consider herself a feminist, but she was. She never married. Um, she really went to places that most, most ladies, maybe it would be socially uh, frowned upon for a woman to go to, or um, she actually risked her health. She visited the quarantine stations and documented the patients there um, and the immigrants. Uh, so her passion for photography really is first and foremost in her life before many other concerns. And, you know, a time when it was taboo for a lady to show her ankles, she was known to pull up her skirts <laughs> and go in the middle of a river just to get a better vantage point for her camera. So she was known to pack up her bike with 50 pounds of equipment and, uh, you know, go out to photograph. She was very athletic also. She was a master tennis player, swimmer, sailor, uh, bicyclist. Why do you think that New Yorkers should come out and see the Alice Austin house, Clear Comfort? Well... I mean, when you set foot here and see this panoramic view that stretches from the Statue of Liberty to the Verrazano Bridge, it's breathtaking. It's a million-dollar view and not to be missed. And then uh, also you have this house that dates back to 1690. It was a one-room farmhouse by a Dutch settler uh, and has hundreds of years of history. John Austin in the 1840s made it into this state, which we've restored the house to be, it's a Gothic revival style of architecture, carpenter style. A lot of wood, hidden vines, little details throughout the entire house, um, beautiful old wood floors. And of course, you know, we've really infused the house with exciting programming to bring Austin alive and her rebellious sense. And what kind of exhibitions do you offer here at the house? Well, we have a formula, usually three a year we do. One usually is an Alice Austin solo exhibit. Right now we have street types, which, uh, like I mentioned before, is all of her documentary work in Lower Manhattan of immigrants and the way of life of the time. Uh, we've shown, you know, uh, how the dress was at the time through her portraits because uh, she photographed Staten Island's elite, really, um, of Victorian dresses and, you know, men in hats and suits. Um, and then besides the Austin exhibit, we usually do a contemporary photographer's show, um, mostly a group exhibit in the summertime. Uh, this summer, we're going to be doing the modern take on the street types and showing photographers who work very similar to Austin with medium format uh, photography and document life uh, on the street. We have a curator, Paul Moakley, who's the deputy photo editor of Time magazine. So he puts together all of our shows, and we've done really some exciting, award-winning photography exhibits. What sorts of events do you have here? Well, we have art and craft fairs. Um, we have dance performances on our lawn, concerts, uh, very uh, exciting gallery openings. They're, you know, on this beachfront estate. We um, 
serve food and wine, of course, great conversation. Uh, we'll have a badminton tent uh, net set up. I still do get visitors, though, from Staten Island. I've lived here my whole life, and I've mer never been inside, you know. So many of them, um, I don't think, realize what is here, but we're creating programming that is more exciting and encompasses what Austin really was, which, yes, she was born hundreds of years ago, uh, or a hundred over a hundred years ago. But, but her spirit is still relevant today. Yeah. You can also visit us on our website, aliceaustin.org. There, we've worked really hard to upload hundreds of Austin images in the collection page. And you could also like us on Facebook to receive invitations to upcoming events. So what's the next event that you have for the public? It's a really exciting event. It's Worldwide Pinhole Day. And um, people from all over the world participate in this. We've been doing this. This is our third consecutive year. Um, and basically on April 21st, um, which is a Sunday, we have a family workshop where visitors can come and make their own pinhole cameras. And basically what it is, is it's, it's a paint canister and you can make a pinhole camera from any light tight container. And you just drive a pinhole through it and just by the phenomena of light, the image gets projected inside this light tight chamber. So we put a light sensitive photographic paper in there and um, it exposes the paper and uh, has an image and we have dark rooms set up for people to process it. So it's a really good introduction to photography, how the camera works and dark room. Once again this is Hannah with Real Estate SINY and thank you for talking with me Sarah. My pleasure. Um, yeah so uh, come out and see a piece of New York history for yourself.